I'm back here with Magnificent Suleiman. This is a map that was chosen by you, the community, in the community polls, as you can see right here. All right, this is a by TD start. If you saw at the end of the last episode, I rolled this in the video, so there was no shenanigans. I, I promise you. I promise you there were no shenanigans. Here are the game details if you want to see it. We're playing on Continents, New World Age, Legendary Start, and only Secret Societies. No other game modes. And here are the mods that I'm using if you want to see them. You can pause the video here and see the mods. I also have them linked in the description below. But let's jump right into it. Okay, so I have decided that we are going to go... Hold on. Ellie, you suck. I'm actually going to... I'm going to do a real one-off here. I'm not going to go work ethic. And the main reason why I'm doing that is because, like, yeah, this would give us plus eight extra production to my cap. But we really only have, like, plus two, plus one, plus one. We really don't have good enough adjacency holy sites to give us, like, plus one or two extra production, which is just really not enough in the in the grand scheme of things. So I'm going to do... Uh, I'm going to do... A very avant-garde build here. We're going to go Zen Meditation, plus one amenity in cities with two specialty districts. That means all of my cities are going to have an extra amenity, amenity in them. Additionally, we're not going to get it yet, but I am going to grab stupas. So our religion is going to give us plus two amenities here. On top of that, I think I'm going to go World Church. Cross-cultural dialogue would be pretty good for the science, but I think I want my I think I want culture to be carried. Like, you want a lot of culture. In this game so i think i'm gonna take world church here and then eventually go into stupas so let's grab that we need our culture going and now while we're down here where you where you going ellie huh where you going let's hopefully take this city which means we need to take manchester which we should be able to on the on this upcoming turn so yep let's do that here we go next turn Ooh. oh ow that's a that's a big that was a big uh, flood. What the heck? I would wait for raid, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pillage. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. Sorry, I turned into Scott Stapp for a second there. <laughs> she in a golden age? Okay, that's that's not gonna flip for a while. So, does she have a religion? No, that's oh she does. She has Catholicism, but her religion's gone. All right, let's start getting some men at arms now. There we go. There's one right here. Do I get some men at arms for Antana Narivo? We also get these into knights pretty soon as well. Okay, let's get one more settler. <laughs> We're spamming these settlers here. Please don't start getting walls. Oh, she's got crossbows. That's okay. Oh, yeah. Gold. Oh, forgot. Golden Age. Uh, Five more turns. We really do need to get a Golden Age. This also. So we have two men at arms here. Can we get knights? Oh, no. These are horsemen. They're not heavy calves. Uh, a trebuchet would be nice, but I don't. Do we even need trebuchets at the moment? Not necessarily. I mean, we still have quite a few turns, so... Oh, minus three gold per turn. Ooh, that I need to put in conscription, huh? <laughs> the city needs a campus. We also need a commercial hub. I think I'm going commercial hubs first, and then we'll get camp all of our campuses around turn 100 or so. We need to take... Cap so I'm going to go Sheffield, London, right into Kumasi. <laughs> what a game, huh? Oh, please stop killing my boat. Please stop killing my boat. In New York City. Well oh, yeah, God. How are we going to get a Golden Age here? I need eight era score. Kill law is not going to happen. How can I get a Golden Age here? Um, Niter? Maybe Suze Mogadishu? Levy Mo then Levy Mogadishu? Oh, this is actually going to... I don't know if we're going to be able to get a Golden here. I need eight era score. Okay, there's some faith. Maybe if I pillage some faith or, or pillage to divine right fast enough with these horses we might be able to in four turns uh i guess we're just not gonna get a we need another monumentality though oh she's got knights oh shit. okay let's start pillaging oh let's get friends oh i almost forgot about that oh, that would have been bad <laughs> not be friends with, with him. do i just resign the fact that i'm not gonna get a golden here that kind of stinks if so and then we just go Renaissance Golden after that, and we don't get this this one. I hate it. I mean, it it is what it is. We're so close to. Uh, I'm so I'm so salty at myself for not getting gold a golden here. Oh, there's depredation. Okay. Did I just pillage the? Oh, I thought I just pillaged the road. I was about to be <laughs> what? I'm desperate. <laughs> I'm desperate. 
Yeah, I guess we just don't. I guess we just get a normal age. Uh, maybe she'll be in a normal age, and that'll give us extra combat strength. That actually might be better. That actually might be better. You know, <laughs> the copium. <laughs> the copium is flowing right now. <laughs> the copium is flowing through my veins. Okay, let's get. We'll go entertainment complex. Do we still have Coliseum available? Okay, we do. Good. <laughs> yes. Well, I thank you. That's. I'm so glad that you just decided that you wanted that builder all of a sudden. I don't know what could have urged you to uh, to want to take it, but... <laughs> Alright. I really don't want to lose these horses. These plus one horses. I need to kill this knight, though. Um... Nice. Oh, do we have niter? Nice. Okay, we do have some niter. Cool. Oh, I should have shot one more time. Can I take it? Oh, so close. So close. I won't, I won't take it on this turn. We'll take it on the next one, though. Okay. Well, we're not going to get a gold in this era. That's okay. It is not the end of the world. We will try again on the next era. This will... If, if she isn't in a golden here, we're going to get some extra combat strength this era. Ah, was that my depredation? Okay, it wasn't. But is she in a normal age? Oh, she's in a dark age. All right, give me the combat strength. Let's go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, we're going to still go free inquiry here. Because we're going to build our, our uh, campuses this era. Bonk. We're going to get one more. Oh, we're not in a monumentality. Damn, I should have just bought a bunch of builders. Oh, well. Should I just take this? Do I have any other pillages in here? All right, thank you. <laughs> like I said, this is a science game. That's a, that's what this is. A very valid, peaceful science game. Speaking of, I should get an apostle out so we can convert all of our cities. We don't need to yet, but soon, I should say. Hopefully, we can get that on the next turn. What a game. Okay, how many cities do we have now? 11 cities, turn 88. That's not too shabby, huh? These are all made organically, by the way, too. I uh, definitely did not steal any of them. I settled all of these by myself because I am a big boy. What am I using this gold for? Am I just saving for Emotep or should I faith buy Emotep? Still not building walls, though, but let's... Oh, here we go. Depredation. It's pillaging time. All right, there's Divine, right? Let's take it right now. Perfect. I'm not building any wonders yet, right? No? Okay, so let's put in Natural Philosophy. Let's go Serfdom, because I'm about to settle. Raiding Conscription is just fine. Now I can settle the city up here. There we go. Wait, what? What did we- what was that? Oh, we got the biggest- oh, Empire. Would that would have- would that give, have given us our Golden Age last game? Would that have given us our Golden Age? No, right? There's no way. There's no way. Let's go pillaging. No! <sighs> no one saw that. Yep, let's launch an Inquisition. Let's go ahead and get an Inquisitor out. And we're going to go ahead and get our religion in all of our cities. And we can, I guess, try and use Brussels here. Yeah, any Brussies enjoyers? Having a knight in there is actually kind of annoying. Which means I really need to make sure I don't lose my depredation horses. Our, our maintenance is cut. <laughs> we just have... Uh, we have some unit maintenance issues, huh? Mmm. Tasty. It's a tasty treat. Come on, you know you want this. But he's not getting tricked. He's no fool. Why are you not building walls? Huh? Ma'am? What's going on? Do you just not like them? What did they ever do to you? Steal it. Oh, no. Oh, oh I thought the game crashed. She's getting knights out right now. That's kind of scary. Okay, let's start working on Coliseum if it's still available. It is. Give that a chop. Let's put down our entertainment complex. That's going to work in like two turns. Or finish in two turns, I should say. Do I just kill him? Yeah. Let's take our horse. Oh, she is starting to get walls. Okay, I, I should probably start attacking. Where's my ship? Let's come back so we, sh we can siege the city. <laughs> let's get this trebuchet out. Just don't kill my depre... Okay, that's fine. Don't kill my depredation horsies. That's all that matters to me. I'm going to pass on this one. But we really do, uh, we really do need to end this war soon. Oh, hey, perfect. She took the bait. 
This war needs to be ended soon. I think we just take London, Liverpool, and then we free Kamasi and let her have Birmingham. Because <laughs> do we need Birmingham? No, we, we don't need Birmingham. All right, let's work on the arena. Uh, do I chop the arena? Probably, right? Yeah, I think we're going to need to chop the arena. The city also needs to get a holy site. And then we need to start working on our campuses very soon. But for this time being, while we have both of these... Here we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, see, now she's starting to, to build walls. Uh, we just need to we just need to take the city then. Scooch around here. Make sure there's no knights around here. Okay. Get some pillages off, maybe. There's a little extra faith. Let's just take this, yeah. Before she uh, before she <laughs> oh, no, she no, completes no, the walls. No. <laughs> London. <laughs> Man, people really aren't going to like me after this, huh? But we really we really do need to get another Golden Age so we can stack our science and culture. We're doing pretty well right now, though. Uh, it could be better. Considering what we were doing... Yeah, we, it could be better. Governor title. Oh, yes! All right, we're at 79 and 71. We'll see how much that actually gives us. <gasps> you got a crossbow in there? Oh, my God. He actually might die. This actually might die here. Okay, we have f seven turn man this is what a levy this is probably one of the best levies that i've had from a city state in such a long time this is so good do i just sacrifice a crossbow or maybe the men at arms to take a shot so we don't lose this horse the depredation promotions are, are really important they're going to be useful later on too because what we are going to do hold on we need this oh, next turn what we are going to do is go to war again not like for a while but later on we're going to go to war and we're going to pillage a bunch of cities while we're yeah okay that's fine that died while we're trying to go to space i think it just matter rather bring these down all right let's grab emotep right now oh kill isidore is next too <laughs> that's actually fantastic <laughs> that's incredible all right let's uh let's buy this tile let's swap these all around like so and then we can swap these back and then we're gonna chop from here it's gonna give us the arena we can put in gothic architecture now so let's do that at this time Let's also put in veterancy because I don't think I need to run contription anymore. All right, let's chop for the city here. Okay, that, that ended up working anyways. Okay, let's put Coliseum. If, Col watch, if Coliseum was not available, I would have cried. I would have been so upset. <laughs> I would have been so mad. My trebuchet. Hey! A vast, A vast tomb. tomb. Okay, so there's Maz. We also need to work on Kilwa, which is going to go down here. Let's place it, actually. Maybe I should have gone Jesuit education this game, actually. I think it's fine, that what we're doing now, but it would have been kind of nice to go Jesuit. Hey, Colosseum actually hits Babylon, too. Wow, that's actually kind of incredible. <laughs> that's actually pretty great. Whoops, sorry. Here we go, let's start. Kamasi will be mine. Well, every, everyone's, I guess, technically, but mine. Here we go, give me the gold. Yes. Let's go. We finally let's get Kumasi back. Let's go! Oh, what a what a war! She doesn't have anything else to pillage, right? She does. She has a little bit of faith, but it's let's make peace. There's no reason to be at war anymore. <laughs> this has been an incredibly long war. We just we went right from uh, Kumasi to Eleanor. I don't think so. We went right from Babylon straight into Ellie. We have a lot of cities now. How many? Fourteen cities. Oh, <laughs> not happy. That's okay. Hey. Hey, what's going on? Thanks. Yeah, give me all those cities. Oh, it's just a casual 782 grievances against us. There's no way she's going to dislike us, right? There's no way that she's going to dislike us. <laughs> all right, yeah, we can send that to Mogadishu. Now, we do need to... We are sued to Kumasi now, so we're going to start getting a ton of culture from trade routes, which is just spectacular. Spectacular? Spectacular. I am going to, however, grab another Inquisitor here, and then we'll use gold to buy Isidore. How is our cities? Are they still all pretty bad? Yeah, they're still pretty bad. That's because of war weariness. So in a few turns, I'm going to buy Isidore. And then what I'm going to do after that is just stockpile builders, get all of our cities going. So the plan for the rest of this game is to be peaceful and uh, to a point, to a point. We will go to war again, but it's not going to be for a while. It's not going to be necessarily for like, we're not going to go to war to take over cities. We're going to go to war to make science go burr. Speaking of, I shouldn't have gone... Damn, you know what I shouldn't have done? 
is I should not have gone Ancestral Hall. I should have gone Warlord's Throne so we could have gotten that extra 20% production from every time we, we, we took a city. But that's fine. All right, give me, give me Colosseum. Yes. Now you might be wondering, how am I getting these wonders with one turn? I am running Emotep, and Emotep... Emotep's charge does... Oh, I don't remember. It's Emotep gives you 175 production towards a wonder construction, and it's doubled if the wonder is from the ancient or classical era. So you're gaining 350 production from a wonder that's ancient or, ancient or classical era. Wonders like Colosseum and Moss, 400 production on standard speed. And so if you run Gothic Architecture, which gives you a plus 15% extra production towards Renaissance, Medieval, and Classical Era Wonders. You have a little bit of extra production. This is like production from the first turn that it's worked. And that means you can one turn Wonders pretty dang easily. So what are we running in here? Do we grab another Holy Site? Yeah, I think we get a Holy Site right here. And then we'll start putting campuses inside this city. And then pretty soon we're going to buy a Isidore to help use on Kilwaka Sawani. These are, very, these are probably some of the most important Wonders that we could be getting right now. Uh, Colosseum, Maz, and Kilwa. We are going to be seized of a lot of city-states throughout the rest of this game. Oh. Okay, well, that was not fun. We need to get a dam down, too. Which, speaking of, I am going to put a dam right here. Why is everything pillaged? I don't know. <laughs> Alright, let's grab another Inquisitor. And then we'll grab a Missionary and go Missionary Scouting. Once we grab Isidore, we're going to use our gold to start getting Builders out with serfdom so we can just repair all of this the all our cities like yeah we have a lot of cities we have decent science and culture but we need to start getting these cities like we need to start getting mines we need to start getting lumber mills farms things along those lines so these cities can actually be productive oh i can get toa this in here maybe we'll farm this like so farm triangle here and then just grab toa right here yeah why not oh speaking of what where am i getting rur i forgot about that i forgot about rur valley <laughs> Okay, honestly, Birmingham would be a pretty decent Rear Valley City. Do I just go to war with her and take over? Yeah, let's do that. This would be a pretty good Rear Valley City. Sorry. Sorry, Ellie. This is going to be a very good Rear Valley City. A diplomat. Is a a diplomat. And it does look like we are going to be able to get a Golden Age too, which is pretty important because we want that extra, we want those extra yields from being Magnificent Suleiman. Speaking of, how are we looking on scientists pretty good pretty good okay, there's cartography let's go searching for other sieves all right can we get it okay next turn we can't can we get it now we might be able to thank you oh come on two can i have two gold sir i know it's not worth it but i don't care oh did i just trade am i a moron don't answer that she has no gold hey there we go all right let's get isidore now <laughs> I like I think I literally just traded two gold per turn back and forth with with him. Uh speaking of we should actually grab alliances now. And I think what I am going to do is go cultural alliance with him or research alliance actually maybe. Yeah, let's go research. I'm not going to switch off of reform church or theocracy. What I am going to do however is put down TOA when I saw the house of Artemis that mounted to the cliff. Perfect. And then we can start getting some builders out now too. So I'm going to put serfdom in. And I've already got a golden age too, by the way. Look at that. That's crazy. <laughs> okay, let's go find some. Let's go find the rest of the sieves. Hopefully they all don't hate me. <laughs> Hopefully they all don't hate me. And then how am I going to get a... Do I... Like, I really like these tiles here, but but I kind of want to get a, a... Like, maybe I do this. An IZ here. Like, a pretty decent one. Like, this city can get an IZ right here. We can get another one right here. Do something like that. Then we still have all of these yields over here. Yeah, that's fine. How much is it to buy a builder? 360, how much, can this build a builder any fat time fast? Yeah, five turns. That's actually pretty good. That's gonna give uh, campus. So uh, this, this is actually a pretty underrated great scientist. The chosen campus gains two housing and one amenity and increases non-food yield benefits of happiness in your empire by 40%. That's so crazy. That's like, so that means non-food yield benefits of happiness in your empire by 40% means whenever your cities are ecstatic or happy, like this city here, for example, is ecstatic because it has um, plus five amenities. 
that is the threshold for ecstatic. I believe happy is three, uh, which is right. Istanbul has three. Yeah. So uh, whenever your cities are ecstatic or happy, that means your all yields in your cities are are increased by whatever it is, 10% and or 20%. That means all of these yields here. So whenever you're running this, this increases non-food yield benefits of happiness in your empire by 40%. Now, I may want to clarify the 40% is to the ecstatic and happy numbers themselves. So it's not 40% overall. It's 40% of the 20%, 40% of the 10%. However, this is actually kind of an old bug. It seems like it was not updated with the new patch to the buffed amenities. So it still only adds 2% to all non-food yields. And for ecstatic, he adds 4%. So... Uh, yeah, this is actually pretty underrated and a bad, great scientist. I mean, you're probably just not going to feel the effects of it, so just, who cares? All the yields that we're going to be getting. Hey, get out of here. We need to go find other city-states, by the way. Don't mind me, Ellie. Just hanging out. Can I ask him to stop? No, I'm at minus 14 per turn. <laughs> Why is that minus 14? Oh, excess grievances? Oh. <laughs> Couldn't be me. Okay, I need to get I need to get some more inquisitors out. Or maybe an apostle to evangelize. Let's pop this now. Two housing and amenity, and all the yields are going to be increased. It, this is going to be this is going to be a ridiculous game. Right, two more turns for Kilwa. We need to get Grandmaster's Chapel going as well. Uh, Casa is Casa worth it? Uh, maybe, maybe. Do I have Surfed him in? I do. Okay, let's get a builder out. Where do I get a builder? Over here. Yeah. Give me debater. Uh, proselytizer actually works out pretty well. And then we can get another Inquisitor. All right, Killwa on the next turn. We'll heal up our units, then we'll take Birmingham. <laughs> and then what do I use this last charge of Isidore for? What other wonders should we get? We are gonna need Rur, and that is coming up. We could use Isidore on Terracotta for the extra movement points on these to get them to uh, Pursuit, so they have plus one extra movement point. I guess we could just use Isidore on I mean, Casa is not bad. I might just get Casa, actually, and use this on Casa. How much production is it? How much production is Casa? 920. Isidore gives us... I don't remember how much Isidore gives us. 325? 215? I don't know if that's worth it. I mean, Casa's pretty good. It'll give us one, two, three, four cities, especially if we have Ruhr. Yeah, I think I actually kind of want to get Casa. I have a chop, too, as well. So we can chop that for Casa. Yeah, why not? Let's try it. Killa! Nice! Although, oh, it's old Damascus, he's stealing my tiles. Maybe that'll flip. Maybe it'll flip. I really need to start getting commercial hubs out. We need to get holy sites down too. I think the commercial hubs might be a little bit more important here. Like, we have enough faith, although the faith is going to compound us, right? All right, let's go find someone else, please. Still no one else. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> All right, let's use one charge of Visitor on this. Do I move Magnus in there temporarily? Uh, we'll lose out a lot of culture and... Is that... This is... Yeah. It's fine. It's fine, he says. 90 production. And then we just need to start taking... Yeah, let's let's start taking all of our Inquisitors down. As well as our Apostles. Converting all of our cities. And then hopefully we can ask him to stop convert... Like, hey. You, sir, stop that. I don't know if that's worth it just for the chop. Yeah. I don't know if I'll be able to take this. Uh, she doesn't have a crossbow in there. He did steal some of our hill tiles, but as long as we can grab, like, a couple of these around here, we should be fine for a rear city, which it's it's coming up fast. I do want to build rear here, which means we're going to have to chop out an IZ, like, immediately. That's okay. I thought Siv was going to crash. Felt like Siv was going to crash there for a second. Can we go find someone else, please? Where is everybody? Uh, maybe what I'll do is I'll take a, a, get a galley over here, too. Oh, I don't have galleys. I have just caravels, don't I? Can I get a missionary? Yeah, okay, let's go missionary scouting. Do I just go? I kind of want to just go. Maybe I should do it before people get mad at me in the game. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, let's do that. Your city? My city. Oh, I'm actually- this actually might die. Oh no. Uh-oh. <laughs> Those actually might die there. <laughs> yeah, I thought you get the crossbow in there is actually gonna make this kind of difficult. Okay, maybe not. He dies. Well, I'll just not be able to take this city because I just didn't upgrade my units. I could I could actually see that happening. <laughs> just attack him, please. Okay, you did that, but a little too well. Didn't really like that. 
Oh, so close. Uh-oh. We might lose one of these depredation horses. No! I don't want that. That's actually going to be really sad if we lose a depredation horse. Look at that. Look at this. Oh, let's go. These trade routes are uh, pretty decent, to say the least. Okay, please. Please don't kill my depredation horsey. Oh, this one dies, I think. Oh! Genius. Hello. Turn 118 met my third... <laughs> Pretty pretty standard, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Give me the gold, dude. Give me the gold. Can I get open borders? I don't even care. Give me the gold. He's probably not gonna like me. <laughs> Please don't kill my horsies. Thank you so much. I'm just gonna choose myself. It's probably what's gonna happen. Okay, that's yeah. Oh no, my poor horsies. Oh no. Oh no, <laughs> my poor horses. Oh no. Uh oh. We should be fine. Oh, I wanted to put an icy. Ugh. Oh, well. Okay, let's aqueduct this. The, these cities definitely need a little bit more production in them. 15 turns for Casa. We'd have industrialization in a turn. When we take this city, I need to chop out a industrial zone like ASAP. So we need to put Magnus into that city. That'll be fine. Oh, Pachacuti's in this game. Hello. Yeah, send him a delegation as well. See if he wants anything from me. He does. Yeah, we're starting to, we're starting to zoom. Okay, let's grab... We'll, we'll grab Brussels right now. Oh, I should have done that a long time ago. That's going to help us with this. And then we're going to put in Diplo League. And I'm going to, once we start finding more city states from getting the rest of the continents explored, then, uh, then we'll start dumping envoys into them. Can I take it? Please take it. Oh, Eleanor. I'm so sorry. Bye bye. <laughs> Oh, that means she got an encampment here. I mean, I guess we can get terracotta in this city. And then we can end up getting... We'll put our IZ right here. Actually, we could put our IZ here. That could be Ruhr. This could be an aqueduct, like so. Now, people really aren't going to like me because I've killed two people. <laughs> oh. oh, man. What a game. Well, we didn't do a lot this game, but we kind of did at the same time. This was a grueling war against England. Not gonna say that, you know, England doesn't doesn't deserve a lot of the stuff that's coming to them. But you know, she did spawn next to me. <laughs> uh but I, what I am gonna do is I am gonna call it there. This was kind of establishing control of our continent. We're gonna leave our good pal Salah Dean over here. He's our, probably gonna be our only ally through the rest of the game. We're gonna start getting all of our campuses up. We're about to enter into another golden age. That golden age is going to allow us to get monumentality where we could just spam builders everywhere. Get maybe a couple more cities out. Uh, maybe like one down here. Maybe try to find a city to get Amoga Scott because that's going to be pretty important to get as well. Get more campuses everywhere. Start to get some chop cities out for spaceports. That's also going to be very important. And yeah, we'll go from there. So if you guys have been enjoying this, please consider subscribing to the channel. You get to see the big number go burr. Uh, also, I have a Twitter and a Discord. Join the Discord, follow the Twitter. You get to know when all of my videos go out and you get to know when I am streaming on twitch.tv slash postius. And yeah, thank you guys all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.